Hello students, this is 7th standard science class and the chapter what we are dealing with is physical and chemical changes. Children in the previous class we just learnt about uh, the meaning and the definition of physical changes along with some 4 to 5 activities that means examples. In this session children let us try to know what is this chemical change. So we have a simple activity here. Uh, we are supposed to take a small uh, a metal uh, those metal item it can be made up of iron or copper or zinc or whatever it is so here in the textbook uh, they have taken an iron piece as an example take this iron piece and keep it outside the house so that it comes in contact with the atmospheric air when it comes in contact with the atmospheric air, it forms a layer which will be of brown in color. So that brownish layer which will be formed on the iron piece when it is kept open for some time outside the house, that brownish substance we call it as rust and the process we call it as rusting. So this iron gates what we have in front of our houses or in front of our buildings and all these things iron benches now even windows what we have all these will turn to brown color because they tend to react with the oxygen which is present in the atmosphere so this one process we call it as uh, the product what we get is rust and the process is called as rusting now let's, let us see one more example children. Children here in the picture you can see we have a tongs here. We have this tongs here. We have some white flame and some powder structure here. So what we have to do we have to take a thin stripe of magnesium ribbon. Before taking this magnesium ribbon near the flame or the fire we have to rub it we have to rub it with the sandpaper later on we have to take this magnesium ribbon near the candle means near the flame it starts burning with a very brilliant white uh, flame as you can see in the picture and uh, so white light so when it completely burns it leaves uh, ashes that means a uh, powder it forms powder as and how it is burning some powder structures will fall down we can just collect it uh, to see what product it is so once uh, the wire is completely burnt i mean the ribbon is completely burnt you can see the white um, uh, 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 powder like structure which will be formed what we collected so that powder form is called as magnesium oxide that means we have magnesium wire here when you take this magnesium wire towards the flame it starts burning when it is burning it will get reacted with the atmospheric air it gets reacted with the atmospheric air that means magnesium wire reacts with the oxygen around it and forms magnesium oxide here children you can see the equation also magnesium that is mg along with oxygen that means it reacts with oxygen and it gives rise to magnesium oxide so a new product has been formed so whatever powder we got it after finishing with uh, the experiment that is magnesium and the oxygen take this ash and mix it with water a small quantity of water stir it well in the aqueous solution and with the help of the test tube and all these things later we just observe uh, this powder whatever magnesium oxide we got when it dissolves in the water we get another new substance called as magnesium hydroxide that means magnesium oxide along with water gives rise to magnesium oxide so we got two new substances so in the big in the first experiment we got magnesium oxide and when this magnesium oxide was mixed with water we got magnesium hydroxide 
so these two simple activities that means first one iron getting rusted and magnesium along with oxygen giving rise to a new substance called as magnesium oxide and again magnesium hydroxide so whenever substances undergo some changes they give rise to new substances so if the new substance is formed then we call that change as chemical change in the coming classes children let us see some more examples related to chemical changes thank you